listening in on FGM. We'll be reading them out um, in just a short while. But first, who owns Kenya for you? Now, tonight, we shine the spotlight on East African Portland Cement, which was the first cement company in East and Central Africa. The company which set up shop in Kenya in 1933 derives its name from the Portland Stone Mine in the Isle of Portland in the United Kingdom. Now, the company's initial production capacity was 60,000 tons of cement with its first factory set up in Nairobi's industrial area, importing raw materials from India. In 1958, the company's Athi River factory was established, increasing its production capacity to 120,000 tons of its trademark blue triangle cement. Now today the company has a production capacity of over 1.3 million tons. The company which controls assets worth over 14 billion shillings is however set to undergo a drastic change in ownership after the Competition Authority of Kenya, CAK CAC, opened investigations into one of its major shareholders Lafarge. The cement company is under investigation due to its dual ownership of Bamburi cement where where it holds a 59% controlling stake and East African Portland cement where Lafarge holds a 42% stake, a factor that gives it concentrated economic power in the cement sector. Now, th though the findings of the commission are yet to be released, Lafarge could be forced to let go of its shareholdings in Portland cement, leaving the company open to a major shift in shareholding. The company has also been at the center of a major standoff between the government and its management over its treatment as a state parastatal. The standoff has left the government at great risk in its control of various companies after the Office of the Attorney General declared that the government cannot lay claim to shares held by NSSF. Now, this means that the government cannot use any shares held by NSSF in any company to influence appointments both at board level and at management level. Now, the standoff had affected the company's performance, but it bounced back last year, generating 2.48 billion shillings in profit compared to 969 million shillings lost the previous year. So, the big question, who owns East African Portland Cement? Like most companies on the NSC, the company's shareholders has a list of nominee accounts. At number seven is a nominee account held through Kestrel Capital Nominees Limited, which is associated with Charles Field Marsham, who is the son-in-law of former Cabinet Minister Nicholas B. Watt. The nominee account holds 0.6% stake in the company valued at over 40 million shillings. At number six is the Kenya Reinsurance Corporation, also holding a 0.6% stake valued at uh, just over uh, 45 million shillings. At number five, is yet another nominee account held through Nairobi Nominees Limited with a 12.5% stake in the company that's valued at 918 million shillings. The shares are linked to Lafarge Cement through Bamburi Cement. At number four is yet another Lafarge affiliated company, Associated International Cement is what it's called, with a 14.6% stake in Portland Cement valued at over 1 billion shillings. At number three, would you believe it? It's another Lafarge company, <laughs> Cementia Holdings is what it's called, with 14.6% valued at over 1 billion shillings. At number two, the government of Kenya, through the permanent secretary to the National Treasury, holds a 25.3% stake valued at 1.8 billion shillings. And at number one is the National Social Security Fund with a 27% stake valued at 1.9 billion shillings. Those are the top 10 shareholders as of the 30th of uh, June 2013. Let's take a look now at our top three on 